Hey guys, it's that time of the year again. Oh, it feels so good to be back here one more time. Back to, back to this time. Yes. Anyway, welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Um, last year I did a Christmassy Let's Play as well. This year I thought, hell, I'll do one again. Maybe make this a tradition if I can come across these really annoying things. And it is raining outside. Okay. Anyway. So, I am breaking a boundary here that I've never done before in a Let's Play ever. Um, so, welcome to a brand new LP. Welcome to this. The Mail on Sunday's Oh yes. Christmas quiz is a quiz that will entertain the whole family all from the comfort of your own living room. Use the directional arrows up, down, left and right on your DVD remote control to navigate through the on-screen menus and to answer the question. In this case, my Click Xbox Enter controller. OK to select. You can play the Mail on Sunday's interactive Christmas quiz either alone or with friends. With up to four I will be playing on my Larry. Battling for glory. Once you've selected how many people are playing, each player or team needs to pick a Christmas character to identify... And all look really game. stupid. There are five rounds of questions to be answered, and each round has seven questions. Players take it in turn to answer each question. Once you or your team have agreed on the correct answer, just press the up, down, left, or right buttons on the DVD remote, corresponding on this to case, the my Xbox. that answer on your TV screen. Your selection will not appear on screen, so don't let other players see which button you're pressing. Once you've made your selection, you must pass the remote control to the next player. When each player has made their everyone the cheap DVD cheating gets the next question. When the round is over, you'll all see what you scored and get a chance to look at the correct answer and argue over who got it wrong. Great, this is sort of monopoly for five rounds, the final <laughs> this is monopoly, but look at him. Look, look at that reindeer just sort of saying, F the world, you're all getting V signs and getting flipped you off. Or play again to settle the matter once and for all. Or fight alone, to the death or something. Awarded a Christmas title. There is Ooh. a chance within the game to score more points with the Christmas bonus round. The bonus round appears randomly at any time and only happens. Wow, an exorcist, if bloody you're snowman! The game, you'll have to name a Christmas interesting, tune very times. interesting. If you're playing the game with other players, you might have to name the Christmas tune, or you might have to perform a Christmas charade for the other. Players. Luckily, I'm on my own, get so we don't have to do a charade time, thing. And you'll get five bonus points. Other than that, it's all pretty simple. So settle down and get your brain into Christmas mode for the Mail on Sunday's interactive Christmas quiz. Yep, folks, welcome to Let's Play the Mail on Sunday's Christmas quiz. Oh, yes, okay, so this game I've known about for a bunch of years now. My brother owned this um, DVD game. Yep, it's a DVD game, and I'm playing it on my Xbox. Uh, but yeah, my brother owned this, he still does own this, uh, but I wanted my own sort of copy of this game because he lives in one house, I live in another. Um, so he bought me one last Christmas, so I'm going to do an LP of it this Christmas. Why not? Anyway, we're going single player mode, so let's go. I can choose a character. There should be some... Ah, oh, never mind. I was about to say there should be some sort of speech, but never mind. Anyway, let's go for the FU reindeer, because he hates everything. It's the reindeer for you in this game. Good luck. Yep. Him and his bulbous red nose Show and him hating everything. He's gonna be like the Ebenezer Scrooge of reindeers. It, that's what he's gonna be. He's gonna be the Scrooge of reindeers right here. Anyway, first up it is television. Oh. Round one of five. Alright, let's kick things off. Val Dunican presented a Christmas show in the 70s and 80s. Where was he from? Val Dunican? Um... Pfft. 70s and 80s is normally a good thing for me, but I can't remember for the life of me. Uh, let's go Scottish. In The Good Life's Christmas episode, Silly But It's Fun, who would have played her regular role as Margot, the annoying neighbour? Wasn't Felicity Kendall, I think it was Penelope Keith, wasn't it? I don't like the good knife. In the word, in the, the, in the good life. Kyle does not celebrate Christmas. In ah! Which series. Finally one I 100% know. This is Karl Broflovsky of South Park. Because he is Jewish. In a Charlie Brown Christmas, oh, no. which difficult object does Charlie Brown have to find for the nativity play? Oh, God. Um, I've seen this. I think it's a tree, isn't it? 
Yeah, he has to try and find what a tree, I'm the sure bumble of it. In the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer TV special. The bumble? Now that could be B. I'm gonna say it's an accident prone elf. Because bumbling the around, you Ronnie know. Barker's comedy partner in the two Ronnies, which frequently oh, aired on Christmas Day. Simple one, that is. Ronnie Barker and two Ronnies. It was Ronnie Barker and Ronnie Corbett, so... They're really good comedy and jokes. twice, to Hull and back, and the Jolly Boys outing are all Christmas specials of which BBC sitcom? Probably the most famous BBC sitcom of all time, which is Only Fools and Horses. So, yeah. These are, by the way, all British questions, so I do apologise to all my American Let's watchers who are there going, what, what the hell's he on about? How does he know this crap? Reindeer wow, not bad. Out of seven, I got five right. Would yeah, I'd like to see the answers. Uh, Val Dunican is Irish? Okay. Got that one wrong. Um, Penelope Keith was in The Good Life. I completely didn't know that, because I've never watched The Good Life in my life, but I know that Penelope Keith and Felicity Kendall were in it. That's all I know. Karbaroflovsky is in South Park. He, Charlie Brown was looking for a Christmas tree. Bumble was an abominable snowman. A bumble snowman. I, I guess I can see that. I just couldn't see it being a cake. Um, and Ronnie Corbett, obviously, was the uh, comedy duo partner of Ronnie Barker. And Only Falls and Horses had Miami Twice, Harlem Back, and Jolly Boys out in Christmas specials. Great episodes they were as well. Miami Twice, not so much, but Jolly Boys Outing was brilliant. Festive food and drink. Just seeing the, just seeing the, the, the bus blow up. Brilliant. Anyway, food and drink. Not such a big fan of this one, but I'm okay at it, I guess. What should you do to a chestnut before roasting it so that it doesn't explode? Uh, it's not flatten it. I don't think. Uh, it's put an X in it, I believe, because then that's how the air Polish, pops out. Make 12 vegetarian dishes at Christmas to represent what? Uh, a well-balanced diet. Okay, let's go for celebrating the 12 days of Christmas. If it's to bloody 12 disciples, that's going to be annoying for me. Attribute the widespread hatred of the vegetable. Uh, it's the taste, isn't it? I believe, because no one likes the taste of sprouts, really, do they? Oh, quit whinging, Eddie. Nobody likes sprouts. Why are we having them, then? Because it's Christmas! Oh, whoops. There you go. Sorry about that. That was my main menu. What's the name of the Australian Christmas pudding originally made in the bush? I don't know, this just seems like really, 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 really obnoxious stereotypes. All of these. Let's go for a... I don't know, a joey pudding. I don't know. Gifts such as salt, shortbread, whiskey and black bun are given at which Christmas time celebration? A really bad one. Uh, salt. Salt? Really? Salt? I don't know. Are the box of a hog... a hogmanay? Why not? I don't know. What is baked in many homes over Christmas? Russian flags. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Um, sorry, Russia. Ah, uh, dunno, sponge cake. What does the suet in mince pies need to be replaced with to be considered vegetarian? Tofu, because everything is replaced with tofu if you're a vegetarian. Everything's replaced with tofu. Right, I don't think I did very well there. Yeah, I'm awful that round. Two only. I did a re. I did a, a, a run through of this. Yeah, I was on. I believe I was on about 15 points at this point. I'm only on seven. I also did have my uh, what's it called? I had my bonus round already as well. That was in the first part, and I got it right. Anyway, put an X in it. Yeah, that's right. Months of the year. All right, fair enough, fair enough. As long as it wasn't Christ's disciples, I'd have been a bit annoyed at Poland for that one. Overcooking. Okay. Uh, Billy Cam Pudding. Alright. Hogmanay. Got that one right. They were gingerbread, not shortbread. And it was vegetable fat. But vegetable aren't fat! How do you make vegetable fat? If there's, there's no fat in vegetables. Seriously, you don't see an overweight vegetable on The Biggest Loser USA, do you? In the film Love Actually, what instrument does Sam play in his school's Christmas play? I don't know. For Christmas films I'm not such a big fan of. I don't really 
didn't that much. I'm gonna say Chris would play probably a trumpet or a saxophone. I got trumpet. Which Alan probably wrong. Character tells one of his minions to cancel Christmas. Definitely not Snape. They've never done that. Uh, definitely wasn't Sarah Snape. Uh, I don't know John Gissing. I don't know. Sledges! With very bad rope that I saw in a wood once in, uh, in, in Somerset. And she was very lucky she was a woman, because if that in was a man, that would have hurt. Film, the living daylight, which Bond girl uses her cello case as a sledge? There is no Bond film called The Living Daylights. I don't know, Diana Rigg, I don't know. What was the name of Scrooge's nephew in the 1992 film The Muppet Christmas Carol? Was it still Tiny Tim? I don't know. I, I, I've never watched The Christmas Carol. I've never actually watched The Christmas Carol. I got about 20 minutes in and then stopped watching. The Muppet one, I think I lasted about 30 and then stopped. In which 1993 film does Meg Ryan hear the voice of Tom Hanks on the radio when driving home for Christmas? Ugh. I have no clue at all. Mm. I know sleepers in Seattle. In I don't the know. Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Who gave the children gifts that helped win the day? Was it Father Christmas? That'd be a Which trick question if it's wrong. Isn't set at Christmas time. Which of the following ones is not set at Christmas time? Um, it's either the Holiday or Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Die Hard is, and so is Gremlins. Um, not. Let's go play Trades and Automobiles. That's gonna be a trick question if that's wrong. I guarantee that much. Let's see the score. How many did I get right? Three! Wow! Well, I got one right last time on that one, and then I sort of stopped because my voice was a bit too loud. Oh, I hate the fact I'm only on ten points! You suck, Master Ath! Yeah, I know, I'm not doing very well at the moment. Right. It was He played the drums. Okay. Not very good for a Christmas play to have drums, but okay, never mind. Sheriff of Nottingham. I got that one wrong. I got that one wrong as well. I, I pretty much I got the first four wrong, but I got the last three right. Well played. <laughs> I had a bad start, but I think I did well at the end. Next up is uh, Lot Puck, I believe. Yep, yeah, Potluck. Pot luck. Lot Puck. Lot of Puck. Lot of Puck. Pucker up. All right. Let's go. According to folklore. Who's thought to be the first man to decorate an indoor Christmas tree? Pfft, I don't know. Galileo did everything first. <laughs> I don't know. During the first Christmas of the Mail on Sunday's public. Oh come on! Twenty-five years ago, who was the UK's prime Ooh, minister? Twenty-five years ago. Um, I don't know when this was made. That's the problem. I don't know when this was made. I'm gonna go Margaret Thatcher because I believe it was eighties. Three Kings Day, which is celebrated around the world, is an alternative name for which date? Three Kings Day. Twelfth night? If you were given some frumenty at a medieval Christmas celebration, what would you do with it? Frumenty. Burn it? It's medieval celebra celebration. I'm just going to go everything with a medieval celebration Reindeer, involves burning stuff. To get an extra five points ah, the Christmas bonus. bonus. Right, I'm going to turn the volume up for this one, so I do apologise if it's echoing a little bit. But I need to listen to the so tune. And get ready. Right. What is Can it? You name this Christmas tune? Oh god, I don't know many of them. Yeah. Well done, you got the point. That was a guess. That was a surefire guess. I've never heard that one in my life. As with gladness, Which men and old. Never heard that in my life. Name because it usually starts just after Christmas. Oh, which winter condition gets its name? I don't know. Oh, just after Christmas. Oh no, it's not a roar of boy Alice, is it? Material are the popular Christmas decorative goats traditionally made of? Uh, what material is the goats made? Uh, straw? I don't know. In a Christmas Carol. What oh, did come on. do that improved Cratchit's life the day after Christmas? Uh, I don't know. Gave him a pay rise. I don't know. 
It was either her and assistant. Again, I have no clue about this. I am a complete noob when it comes to Christmas Carol. Nine points, not bad. That means that I got four of those seven questions right. I hate everything still. Nineteen points. All right. So it was Martin Luther King or Martin Luther, whatever. Margaret Thatcher was Prime Minister at the time. I got that one right. Twelfth Night got that one right as well. You were supposed to eat fermenti, not burn it, but you probably could burn it as well. Uh, it was El Nino. Okay. Straw, yes, got that one right. And he gave him a pay rise. Lovely, okay, so I got four right there. Final one. The final round for you. Oh, yes. I love my Christmas music, you know. Um, but uh, not the hymn Complete side of it. the title of the 1971 Christmas number one, Ernie, the fastest what? Never heard this. Ever. Uh, the fastest... Ah, oh, no, Sheepdog in the Pack. In the Never heard of it. Christmas song, they ask for a plane that does what? Flies real high? I don't in know. Which direction Sounds like it. the Magi travelling in We Three Kings of Orient are? <laughs> Jesus, um, north. I don't know. In which country was the Carol Silent Night composed? Uh, Poland. What I have no clue with some of these. With, according to the popular Christmas tune. Uh, Bows of Holly, isn't Who it? Who the music for the Nutcracker? Oh, God, it, uh, Nutcracker was... Tchaikovsky. In the parody I think. of the Carol while shepherds watch their flocks, what is the alternative opening line? Uh, shepherds wash their socks by night, for seated on a bank. The angel then falls forth, came down, and taught them how to. <clears throat> three! You scored Damn! Three points. Use your head. He look. His Brain eyes are so large. He doesn't have a head. Or a brain is, is it's like his head's been compressed in a baler or something. Anyway, it was a milkman in the West. What a stupid name for a Christmas number one. Ernie the fastest milkman in the West. Every single one of the men's wives was very unhappy and unsatisfied. Loop the loop. Of course. Of course it'd be. They don't want something that flies real high so they get an adrenaline rush. And they just want something that loop the loop and then crash. Uh, Westwood. Okay, so I got that one wrong. Austria, got that one wrong. Oh, but I got bo uh, bows of holly, Tchaikovsky, and washed their socks right. That was awful. That was very, very bad. Christmas cracker, your knowledge isn't too bad. You can play the single player game. Uh, isn't too bad. Not bad at all. Well, guys, that's it. Uh, you scored like a Christmas cracker. I am for this year, for this, for this day at least. A Christmas cracker, which is actually very apropos for me. Sort of, you open it, and it's full of disappointment and one crap joke. Anyway guys, that's it from this Christmas, that's it from me. I'll be back obviously on Boxing Day with my next Let's Play part, but for the moment, I hope you all have a very, very happy Christmas. I'm Mastrath, and I'll be seeing you next time. Happy Christmas everyone, I'll see you then.